Welcome to another outdoors edition of GRTV News. We're standing here in Malmo outside of Slaktuset, the slaughterhouse, uh, where we've just been attending Nordic game. That's why we're outside today. Uh, first up this week, it seems like Bungie has signed for Activision, a 10-year exclusive publishing uh, contract. The uh, Bungie will still retain the rights to their IP, Piece, just kind of like the uh, the deal that id Software had with Activision, and also perhaps a bit like the deal that Infinity Ward wanted to have with Activision. Uh, will we uh, perhaps see a Bungie versus Respawn Entertainment in 2012? Mm, could be exciting. A group calling themselves the Infinity Ward Employees Group is suing Activision for a crapload of money, up to $500 million for what they claim is withheld bonuses, stock options, and all that kind of stuff from uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. And they claim that Activision uh, is holding these money hostage uh, in order to retain more of the employees from Infinity Ward, considering that the um, company have seen a lot of people leaving and joining Respawn Studios. Activision, of course, say that the claims are completely without merit. We're just surprised that it took them so long, but EA have now announced that they'll be releasing Sims 3 on consoles this fall. Uh, it will be the, uh, of course, the PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, the DS, and for the Wii. Uh, the, the various versions will contain some exclusive material, like the Wii will get a uh, beach town, and uh, the HD consoles will include uh, content sharing between players, and of course you'll be able to share your family's lives on Facebook. One of the uh, old, really popular uh, rumor sites for the game industry used to be Surfer Girl Reviews Star Wars, and Surfer Girl is now making a comeback with a new site where she says that Microsoft is planning to show a brand new Xbox 360 model at E3. We've heard uh, similar rumors before, especially one with bundled with Natal. But according to Surfer Girl, uh, the new primary color of the machine will be black since, well, Natal is supposedly black and uh, wouldn't look very good compared uh, next to that glossy white Xbox 360 console. And the 360 is also supposed to get a new logo. Well, we just, for now, we just add that to the entire E3 rumor mill. Bungie's been uh, giving out some more details about the Halo Reach beta, uh, which is supposed to kickstart in about a week. The most, the, the biggest surprise is probably that the beta will end already on May 19th, and that all game modes won't be available from the start. And you need a copy of Halo 3 ODST to get in the beta in the first place. That's the news for this week. And I hope to see you guys again next week, as usual. Take care.